Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bets Daily Pick Show for Tuesday, June 8th. Got more second round action tipping off today in the NBA playoffs. So let's just get right into the thing. Today we have game one between the Jazz and the Clippers. Clippers come into this game not knowing the status of Serge Ibaka, who is still questionable with his back injury. And for the Jazz, only injury they got, Mike Connolly is questionable with his hamstring injury. So two key pieces to both of these teams. They'll have to wait and see if they end up playing or not. But Donovan Mitchell has had you know a few days here to recover from that ankle injury. Um, and he looks like he's going to be pretty much good to go for this game. As far as these two teams go, you know, two of the better three-point shooting teams in the league, obviously. Obviously, you know, the Clippers historical pace, you know, 41 whatever percent they ended up shooting on the season um, best in the league. But the Jazz not far behind them, number three in the league when it comes to shooting. Um, and the Jazz also have just done a really good job putting up points this season. 116.9 points per game. Clippers only 113.8. And the Clippers haven't done as well a job winning basketball games while you know winning games by an average of 6.1 points is certainly good certainly you know up there at the top of the league it's not 9.2 points per game is which is what the jazz did this season the jazz have just shot the ball very well um both these teams have shot the ball very well actually the exact same effective field goal percentage coming into this one both shooting 56.5 but the jazz have played better defense only allowing a 50.8 effective field goal percentage for their opponents this season while the clippers allowing 53.1 and if the jazz have anything to kind to you know lean on is definitely that defense um and it's going to be interesting to see how rudy gobert stacks up against you know the clippers small ball he's gonna definitely gonna be trying to shut him down um you know we saw the clippers go into that after you know the the second loss there in the mavs series and it worked out well for him you know ended up winning the series um but it's gonna be interesting to see how it stacks up against this jazz team um and really this jazz team just having you know more time to heal is going to be a huge advantage for them in this game Game. Um, and another area of the court that the Jazz do a really good job of is getting second chance opportunities, you know, um, rebound of the basketball, 24.5% off the offensive glass for them while, um, while pulling down 10.6 offensive rebounds per game. The Clippers, on the other hand, only 22.7% off the offensive glass uh, while pulling down 9.4 offensive rebounds per game. But the Jazz also really shine on defense, 37.5 defensive rebounds per game, while the Clippers only 34.6. Um, you know, these two teams, obviously two of the better teams in the West. That's why we're seeing them here in the playoffs matching up. But this Jazz team, um, especially at home in this game, it feels like they're the better team. Obviously, they're the favorites here, three and a half. Not a huge favorite, but definitely um, a, a fair number of points to lay in the playoffs, no doubt. And I just really think this Jazz team is going to be a lot for Kawhi and Paul George to handle. Um, while they obviously both had definitely shining moments at times in the Maverick series. There was also times where, um, you know, you were questioning whether or not they were ever going to turn it on, whether or not we were ever going to see the Clippers team um, that we seemingly saw for most of the regular season. Um, and without Serge Ibaka here, I think it's going to definitely negatively impact them. Obviously, you know, he's been dealing with the back injury here for a while. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard to tell, but Mike Connolly um, being out for the jazz or questionable for the jazz at the moment, definitely a key factor there, but I think Donovan Mitchell makes up for that. And I really think this jazz, team can can get the win here in this game so like the jazz minus three and a half for this one and that is the only pick on today's card um don't really have a lean in the hawks 76ers game um honestly i'd probably lean the 76ers but i at the moment i really don't want to bet against trey young so we're just going to lay off of that one see how that game goes hopefully we have another enjoyable game and you know we might be back on that series in game three um but if you want to see picks for that game head over to hot to check out the computer model picks gonna have a pick up for both of these games tonight as well as all the in uh, uh, nhl playoff action going on as well as the mlb um and picks for the ufc card coming up here on Saturday, um, as well as all the results posted up on the website. And definitely go take a look at the results pages on the website. Um, had a little bit of problems with them in the past, but worked this weekend to get them all, you know, looking great up and running. So um, definitely go take a look at that. Put a lot of effort into that. Um, and if you're not already following me at Hot Tibets Chris on Twitter and Instagram, follow me over there so you get updates on all of the stuff I'm doing, as well as Hot Tibets Chris on the Best Stamp app to get early access to all of my picks. Um, and also follow the Hot Tibets main account, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date on all that. And if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on tonight. Um, you think the Jazz can pull this one off or the Clipper is going to be hot and coming into this one. So thanks for watching today's show and I will see you guys tomorrow.